Hello my friend, what's up? Today we'll talk about something very important. We'll talk about using present continuous 现在执行时 to talk about the future. Future 将来时 We know that we can use present continuous for something that is happening now. I am speaking English. We can also use present continuous for something that has a specific time. For example, I'm living in Hangzhou. We use it for recently. I'm recently living in Hangzhou. We can also use the present continuous for the future. First, we review how to form the pres con present continuous. We use our subject, so I, she, he, they, or the name, Sophia, Yo-Yo, John, Jack, it doesn't matter. And then we use the verb to be. I am. You are. And the next verb, we use ing at the end. 我们用 verb to be, 然后下个动词, 我们家, ing, 在动词的后面. I am doing. I am working. I am studying. When can we use present continuous for the future? 什么时候我们可以用现在执行时 我们真的要做，我们知道是真的. For example, tomorrow I'm flying to Brazil. I know that tomorrow I have a flight. 我知道明天我去巴西。I'm going to school tomorrow. I'm I'm going to work. I'm working tomorrow. Are you working tomorrow? Yes or no? Usually, present continuous for future is a short fu future. 不是一个远的将来时，是近的。是明天下个星期下个月但是下个年我们不可以用现在执行时我们不知道我们一年以后我们做什么 don't know what are we going to be doing in the next year so I have, I'm working tomorrow, I am studying tomorrow, I'm going uh, hiking tomorrow, I'm meeting friends tomorrow. That's for a short period when you are certain. Do you understand? If you have a question, send us a message and go on our website and do the exercises related to this class. Next class, we will also talk about present continuous. Okay? Thank you very much. I'm Sophia and I see you next class. Today, we continue talking about using the present continuous 现在进行时 for the future 将来时